Alright, I'm going to need to bubble here. I'm going to bubble. Bubble the dot off so the healer can catch up. And there you go. The first plus 13 puck run time. That was pretty intense. Hello everyone. I'm on my prop paladin and I'll show you my talents built in a bit. But right now, off the bat, I'm basically doing a big pull here. And that is why, um, you know, I, I kind of need to focus here. I'm going to bubble taunt here. And just making sure that I chain it into my Ardens here. And this pack dies. Right, everything's dying here. And that was an efficient use of lust, I guess. And spiteful isn't really my problem. <laughs> it's up to the rest to kind of deal with spiteful. I'm off to pull the next pack though. Right, pulling these ones. I'm not sure if we have any uh, Ventia Covenants. If we do, uh, it's definitely worth mind controlling the Gargoyle there. So anyway, we have a Breeder now. So let me show you my talents. I'm running these talents, pretty standard setup. Um, on this key, I'm currently testing the Shield of the Righteous Legendary. I'll let you have a read in just a bit. All right, there you go. Shield of the Righteous Legendary on my shoulders. And this is after the Conduit nerf um, on, I think it's the 29th of October. So there's some chatter that, you know, prop paladins can't really do big damage after the nerf, which I think like is kind of unfair because even in this key, it's very clear that although my damage is lower than before the nerfs, it's very apparent by the way, even then I'm definitely doing way more damage, I feel than my Brewmaster, than my Prop Warrior. And in terms of threat problems, I have none at all. The only tank that is probably better than me in generating AoE threat, it's probably the Vengeance Demon Hunter at this point. Like anything else, it probably pales in comparison. Popping Ardens here. It's getting a bit dicey. Speaking about dicey, like uh, my Discord community was memeing about my usage of the word dicey. And um, I think it was Dedic who actually cropped a face of me and it's now a Discord emoji on our channel, on our Discord community. So anyway, I, I kind of found that really amusing and that kind of made my day. Um, I, I health potted here. It's, um, we've, we were probably struggling on the pull a bit. But yeah, we made it out fine. That's what matters. Going to chain it into another big pull. We do have cooldowns here, so um, I should go go for a big pull here. Going for a self heal with a glory. My priest is probably drinking at this point. Oh, there you go. By the way, I don't have mana bars for my healers because um, in the past I used to rely on an external weak aura that tracks um, my healers mana. But that weak aura is currently broken, so that's why I'm just waiting for it to be fixed. Like the triggers for 9.0 is all different from 8.3. Um, so yeah. Right, using Ardens here. This is a decent sized pull. Especially when he trashes, it will hurt. I kind of need people to help kick here if possible. Alright, we're doing fine here. Oof, that thing will hurt. Gotta move all that. I think that one shots actually. Using my trinket here, kicking that. Before I heal on myself. Alright, I think we're fine. I'm gonna chain it here. Kicking that. I'm gonna blind the next cast. I'm gonna pot, wasn't sure. All stones here. Going for a word of glory on myself. Alright, we have another manifestation here. This group feels pretty decent to me. I think we have a decent shot of timing it. Like, plus 13 is getting into the territory where you probably shouldn't be pugging much in order to time keys. I have Ardens here, I'm holding on to it. Okay, I'm gonna use it, I wasn't too sure. All right. I'm gonna pull the patrol first. Guardian Ancient Kings to start this pool here. 
Okay, my warlock died. Probably to a shade, I think. I'm just waiting for the patrol to move away so I can pull these guys. Kicking that. Alright, kicking that so you'll move. I just want to tank them away from the patrol here. Because the patrol is pretty dangerous in general. Because of gargons and whatnot. Kicking the curse. Going for a self heal, word of glory here. I'm gonna move away from the stone breath. And this time I'm gonna chain it. This guy is taking a while though. I'm gonna chain it now. Going for a self heal here. I still have a bubble, which I do intend to use. Probably for the middle pack, but not here. Either this pack or the next pack on the one with, uh, you know, the Halkias. Uh, little mobs. I have Ardens here, so I'm not popping my shield. Or rather, not popping my Divine Shield. Right, this can be a dicey pull. And this is where, um, you know, having a um, Divine Shield will come in handy, I'm very sure. Probably gonna hodge one of these to just reduce the amount of cool um, damage that's coming into our party. Probably need to bubble here. Alright, I'm gonna bubble here. Bubbling. Alright, bubble. Everything's alright here. I'm gonna go for a self heal. Probably save my trinket for the pool in the middle of the room later on. That pool generally hurts. I think we're fine here. Moving all that. Going for a self heal, word of glory here. Alright, that worked out. Dropping another Consecrate so the shade can be slowed in my Consecration. Okay, I, I basically moved into that. That was kind of my bad. Although the other three of us all got stunned as well. It wasn't ideal. Alright, I'm using my Ardens here. That didn't feel safe at all. Before for a self heal. I really do not want to use my Trinket here if possible. I want to try and save it for the middle pool later on. But I might have to use it. Because it's, it's feeling a bit dicey. Over here. There's 20 stacks on this guy. I probably can get away with it. I'm gonna health pot. I mean a health stone here. Alright, this pool in general. This will hurt. Using my trinket right away. I don't want to screw around with uh, the gargon bears. I'm gonna start kiting now. Like getting away from those guys. Alright, we're doing fine so far actually gonna go for a heal myself. That was a crit heal I think. And it was probably a... if you look at HPS on this pulse, pretty decent. Alright working on this, la this last stone ball and we're gonna chain it into the boss. Alright now I need to stand alone just to make sure that crumbling slam only hits me. Probably just tank the boss here. There's another one coming. I'm gonna pop Ardens here for this one. Right, everything's fine. All right, Sin Light's here. I'm gonna move it out. I need to basically bring um. Yeah, the hunter got feared there, unfortunately. The thing hurts. Another crumbling slam. Got your ancient kings here. Forty percent to go. That kind of hurts. I'm gonna move closer to the end here. Using my trinket. It's reversing. I think it caught the lock off guard there. Priest died as well. Alright, we might be in trouble. I think we're fine. It's 4%. I'll probably kill it here. Before I heal myself. Alright, there we go. Interrupting that. Alright, the Warlock should be back soon. There we go. Alright, moving up the chain. The next pull here. Probably grab the Ankle Bite this year. Gonna pull the next one. Probably popping Ardens here. Alright, I lost uh, aggro on that guy. Got him back. Oof, that hurts. I laid on hands there. Probably use the trinket here. 
Doing fine on time. So far, so good. Picking that. Nice Nova from the mage. I'm gonna hodge this other shade here. Alright, I have Divine Shield here, so should be okay. Okay, someone pulled. Oof. That is unfortunate. I'm gonna bubble here. I'm gonna sack the priest here as well, in my bubble. Well. Alright, we might be, be decimated here. Unfortunately, just trying to survive, like, whatever it takes. Trying to kill the pride. Well, at least we kill the pride. The mage type, my bad. I think he's his trinket pulled or something. Oh, not his trinket. I think he's frozen or pulled, if I'm not wrong. It's not a biggie, though. At least we killed the manifestation Um, in my divine shield window. So everything's fine there. The only time that we lost was from me running back and us dying, that's all. Popping Ardens here, wasn't sure. This key is pretty intense. In terms of like, difficulty. Alright, we can basically skip this patrol here, so I'm just waiting for it to pad away. That shit hurts! Alright, that was a critical lay on hands. I mean, not lay on hands, word of glory. Moving from that powerful swipe. Alright, just waiting for this guy to die so we can chain it into the boss. Moving away. Alright, pulling the boss here. I'm just waiting for them to deal with the shade before I click. Alright, it's about to die. I'm gonna pull. I do not have Divine Toll for the first one in terms of ads. So that might be problematic. Although I do have defensives up. You try and get a hold of them. Popping my defensives here. You try and uh, get that guy in. Alright, we didn't manage to kill ads, but... That might be a problem when they come back to life. Alright, ads are coming back. Gonna kick. You try and group them up here. Alright, good news is I have Divine Toll here. Guardian Ancient Kings. And a Divine Toll to kick. Let me go for a heal here. Trinket on all the ads. Alright, all the ads are grouped up. So we just now we just need to make sure we basically land the leap on these guys. Alright, it's on me, so I'm gonna just destroy them here. Alright, that is satisfying. There you go. Really satisfying. Alright, new hearthstones, I'm gonna pick them up. I'm gonna use my hearthstones right away. <laughs> that was handy. Alright, boss is dying. Going for a heal here. Probably just gonna tunnel the boss. Alright, um, the healer wasn't ready. Type sorry to me. Um, which is okay. Like, we didn't lose that much time. But I was uh, intending to kite back out. Can probably still time it though. 10 minutes away from the last boss. Actually, no, it's super tight. Just waiting for the rest to catch up here. Alright, the mobs are gathered in the chokehold here, so everyone's gonna just DPS. Pop my um, divine shield here. It's dropping in 2 seconds. So after this, I will be in trouble. Going for a heal. I'll be trying to get to my Arden's window here. Alright, Arden's back, but I don't know whether I can survive. He tossed a Guardian Spirit on me, which is great. It's gonna run out in three, 3 seconds? Yeah, 3 seconds. I'm just trying to do what I can to survive. I'm gonna try and blind here. Try and kite a little from this loyal Stoneborn. The melee of these guys actually do hurt. I'm out of... Uh... Alright, I have a heal here. A free heal that I used. I'm gonna taunt this guy. Managed to get him. Probably gonna go for a heal just in time. My word of glory came back up. Probably gonna go for another heal here. We need to stop this guy from casting. Gonna hodge him. Alright, that's a satisfying pull for sure. Dangerous pull, but satisfying. Alright, we might be in trouble here. Going for a heal on myself. 
All right. Managed to do it. That was a very satisfying pull. Now we have the buff, so we need to blow this boss up. Just waiting for everyone to arrive. Waiting for the priests. And there we go. All right, we have 40 seconds of the buff, so we're going to use it over here. I guess whether we time this key or not depends on how fast we do Inquisitor Sigar. I think the little wipes here and there might have costed us the key. But let's see how fast we go. <laughs> we have about 8 minutes. I think it's possible. It's still possible. But we have to go very fast on Inquisitor Sigar. Just to make sure, you know, no issues, no mistakes at all. Alright, I have faith in these guys. If so, it will be our first plus 13 puck that is time. That'll be a nice milestone before Shadowlands actually releases. Popping Ardens here, going for a heal myself. I should probably save my Avengers shield for the volley. Actually, never mind. My kick is back up, so it's fine. Kicking that. Everyone kicked. <laughs> I guess I can still Divine Toll if needed. Alright, this guy is dying. We need to pull Inquisitor ASAP. Alright, I need to blow up adds here. Need to kick him, else he wouldn't move down. Could use some help kicking him, I guess. Using Lay on Hands on the Mage here. Getting decimated at the back by those adds. Using my trinket. It'd be ideal if everyone just stacked in on me. It's probably easier. We went over count because uh, of the miss pulls after the first boss. So that might have costed us some time as well. I'm gonna save my health stones for the last boss. Oof, that was dicey. Went for a self heal there on Word of Glory. Alright, looks like we can time it. It's possible. Pop Ardens here. This guy will take a while to be, you know, chipped down. Alright, while everyone's working on this guy, I'm gonna like mark everyone. That way we can do um you know the soaks later on much easier. Oof, we really need to kick those. Alright, I'm marking everyone else. I'm marking people so they know exactly you know, who is standing on which uh, ritual or wall later on. There's no overlaps that way. Alright, we're pulling straight away. Pulling. Alright, that thing hurts. I really do not want to bubble, but I might actually have to bubble. Going for a heal on myself. Alright, I'm fine. Alright, gonna move out from the middle. Gonna help soak here. I'm hoping people help to soak. That's really important. Alright, great. Everyone knows mechanics. I can probably bubble the next Ritual of Woe, I guess. Or maybe Ardens it. Or something. Gonna heal the priest here. Need a heal. Oof, he's struggling for sure. Probably use Ardens soon. Cos. It's close. I'll probably Ardens the last tick Yeah, Using Ardens. As you guys can see, the Arden sync up just nice with, um, I can't use health stones, I use mine. Going for a word of glory here. Ritual of War is here, I'm helping to soak. Alright, we just need to survive this phase. I guess I can use the Divine Shield for the next, um, the next Ritual of War. Like, uh, sorry, the Stigma of Pride, I meant. Alright, I'm going to need to bubble here, I'm going to bubble. I bubbled that. Bubble the dot off so the healer can catch up. So the healer is playing catch up. Yeah. We are a minute and 58 away from timing this key. So I think we kind of got it in the back. And there you go. The first plus 13 puck run time. It was pretty intense. Especially on the last fight. So that was probably like the most rewarding key I've ran in the Shadowlands beta. Pretty awesome. Um, and we definitely, like I said, wasn't too efficient with our pulls. 
and clearly you know like the warlock could have done better in terms of damage meters if we didn't but pull or miss pull we would have timed this you know much more comfortably but hey overall we timed it that's what matters my sense about the prop paladin after the conduit nerf is that it's still really good in terms of aoe threat definitely have seen a decrease in my overall damage but that was something that i've always expected to happen in terms of like fine tuning so my opinion of a prop paladin is still largely unchanged it's still really good for mythic plus anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the key if you did do subscribe to my channel i publish daily shadowlands content on this channel thank you so much for your support and i'll see you in the next video